Tierra. On my channel, I'm going to be discussing self-gratitude, yoni health, supplements that I take regularly, um, some of them behind me right now. And in today's video, I want to showcase whether or not juicing without a juicer using cheesecloth actually works. I've seen so many videos and I've tried using their techniques that they showcase. And I just wanted to put this to the test because I don't own a juicer and I can't afford one at the moment. So I want to be able to utilize whatever I have to um, make my own fresh juice. I know it's gonna sound super stereotypical and it is so annoying to even say it. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content, please hit the subscribe button. There is a little bell if you want to get reminders um, when some of my videos pop up, you can get that as well. I, I know it's so annoying when people say that and it's so cliche, but after having made YouTube videos, I'm actually able to see, you know, the results from that come from people actually liking the video and if, the, if you genuinely do like it or if it resonated with you and subscribing to the channel. If you are interested in whether or not juicing without a juicer using cheesecloth, that is a mouthful, actually works, stay tuned and keep watching the video. But 
I would just say don't be afraid to get in there. It's just vegetables. It's just fruits. Like, just do it. You can wash your hands later. You saw that I did. I just kept it on my hands. I didn't even care. Um, but I am wondering what I should do with the leftovers from the vegetables after being blended. I didn't throw it away. I just left it in my fridge. So if anyone has any recommendations, let me know down below in the comments. Of course, right now, juicing is like a trend, of course, but there's so many health benefits and I would never want anyone to think that because they don't own like a super expensive juicer, they can't have fresh juice. showcase that and I'll see you next time.